St. John chapter 10 and verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door unto the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, call her Loyum, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Raka, Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's doing the work of the only Savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shai, and all fear shall have won. And our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, is the only true door to the true sheepfold of the Most High. He is the only door to the house of David. This is St. John chapter 10 and verse 1 again. Verily, verily, and verily means truly, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door, which is our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, and to the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. And if you have an instance where an individual trying to enter into a house, and if that individual is not coming in through the front door or one of the doors to the house, he's what? Breaking and entering. All right, he's going to come in some other way other than the door, which means uh, he's not invited. And coming through our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, we pray to be invited to the sheepfold, the true sheepfold of the Most High, to be delivered, all right, only through the door. Okay, this is our St. John chapter 10 and 1 again. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door unto the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber, all right? So if you're not coming in through Yahweh Shai to enter into the house of David, you are considered as a thief and a robber. Verse two, but he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep, all right? And we all know the chief shepherd, all right? The chief shepherd is Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our savior. By, by us entering in through Yahweh Shai, all right, Lord willing, we be a part of the elect number. All right, we we are being made shepherds. All right, over over your flock. Okay, you are being made shepherds uh, over the, the men that are in your camp. All right, any man that's um, less than your rank, you are a shepherd over him. Just like um, the apostles and the elders are our our shepherds over us. All right, this is out uh, the book of Acts, chapter twenty. In verse 28, it says, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy Spirit have made you overseers to feed the church of the Most High, which he have purchased with his own blood. Yeah, and that's starting with the head apostles. All right, we are, are, are the flock, okay? We, we are the fruit of the apostles, all right, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. And if you have been uh, uh, selected through the spirit of Yahweh Shai to be uh, um, ahead of your camp, like the first, second, third, fourth, whatever, the ranking in your camp, you have been made, all right, a sheep, all right, or, or should I say a shepherd over the sheep, okay? Acts 20 and 28 again, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock, all right? The scripture said, take heed unto yourselves first, all right? Search yourselves out daily. Then you can take heed unto the flock in a, in, in, a, in a total balance. Read on over the which the Holy Ghost, that's what it says here in the scripture, but we say, Holy, we say Holy Spirit have made you overseers to feed the church of the Most High. And the church of the Most High are the men that are out on the highways and byways and hedges, okay, proclaiming the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, proclaiming the downfall of this place to feed the church of the Most High, all right? And we're doing it to bring in the hopeful elect among two thirds of our people, which he have purchased with his own blood and only the elect, all right? Uh, uh, which is the door, which is Yahweh Shah have purchased with his own blood by him giving himself up to the cross, all right? Back to St. John 10 and verse three, to him, the porter open, all right? And who's that him? That him that cometh uh, um, through the door. All right, to the sheepfold, 
come through the door to the house of David. The porter is open because Yahweh Shah is the doorkeeper to the, the, the true knowledge and understanding of the King James Version, the true way to salvation, the true way back to the Most High. All right. To him, the porter open. All right. And porter is just uh, means doorkeeper. All right. But the ones that come in through the door, all right, these mysteries, this, this true knowledge, wisdom, understanding, the spirit of prophecy, all right, is open unto him. And the sheep hear his voice and he call him, call his own sheep by name and lead them out. All right. And when he put forth his own sheep, he goeth before them and the sheep follow him and they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers, all right? We knew not the voice of those uh, pork chop eating pastors in those haunted houses. We knew not the voice of um, the Jehovah Witnesses that was knocking on your door every Saturday, all right? We knew not the, the voice of uh, these other Israelite camps, all right, that just have the skin, all right, and don't have the inspiration, don't have the breath. All right, we hearken unto the voice of Yahweh Shah, which came through the the the, the spirit. All right, uh, coming through the apostles and the elders. All right, Saint John ten and five again. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they knew not the voice of strangers, and we knew not the the voice. All right, of these poor chop eating pastors, man. We knew not uh, the voice of anybody that wasn't coming in through the door, which coming, which was was not preaching Yahweh shot. All right, and we, and we flee from them. All right, quick precept. Um, quick precept. Uh, this is uh, the Book of Galatians, one of my favorite scriptures. The Book of Galatians, chapter one, and verse eight. By us not uh, hearkening to these lies that we've been fed all our lives, these GMOs, we ran we ran across the bread of life, which is Yahweh Shah, Galatians one and eight. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. Verse nine, as we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. All right. So if anybody uh, come to you preaching not the door uh, uh, to salvation, the door to the house of David, which is Yahweh Shah. All right. Let him be accursed, man. All right. And let you not follow him. OK, because that's that uh, um, that, that that other philosophy. All right. Getting drunk off that other philosophy, man. All right. Verse six. St. John 10 and 6, this parable spake Yahweh shot unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. And we have uh, um, the mysteries unlocked to us right through Yahweh Shah uh, becoming the sacrificial lamb, the, uh, the ultimate sacrifice. Right through his bloodshed, these mysteries have, have been opened unto us by us coming to this truth through Yahweh Shah. All right, we understand this, but Yahweh Shah spake this as a parable, all right, uh, to them back then. All right, verse 7 Then said Yahweh Shah unto, it, unto them again, verily, verily, verily means truly, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. So Yahweh Shah is the door of the sheep. All right, none other. Let's get another quick precept uh, the book of Ephesians. Chapter 2, verse 18. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. All right? And only through the door. All right? You can only uh, 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 go through your house shot to receive salvation. All right? Matter of fact, uh, let's get uh, St. John, one of my favorite scriptures, chapter 14, and verse 6. All right. And it reads, and this is what Yahweh Shah told, told Thomas. Yahweh Shah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. All right. So there's no way 
back to the Most High, except for you coming in through the door to the sheepfold, which is Yahweh Shah. All right. Verse 8, St. John chapter 10 and verse 8. All, all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. And that's right, because we flee from them. We just read it in Galatians chapter 1 and 8. All right. We flee from them. All right. Jeremiah 23. Real quick. Jeremiah 23 and uh, verse 1. And it says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Because they're not coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. They're not uh, teaching Yahweh Shai. They may be teaching that other white meat. All right. They may be teaching uh, Serapis Crispus and teaching the image of Cesare Bogier, which the world uh, calls uh, Jesus Christ. All right. But they're not coming in the true name. All right. They're not coming in the name of the true door to the sheepfold of the Most High, which is Yahweh Shai. All right. And that's his name in the Paleo Hebrew, which is the true language of our Lord and our Savior. All right. St. John chapter 10 and verse 9. Yahweh Shai said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. And that's right. If you enter in through Yahweh Shai, all right, that, that's ultimately what? Receiving the kingdom, all right? And right now, how do we have the kingdom? By uh, receiving this knowledge, all right? That's that green pasture, man. Pasture represents uh, uh, life, greenery. All right. Verse 10, the scripture says the thief cometh not but to but for to steal and to to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. All right. And that's that's the door that we're stepping through, that door that, that gives us uh, 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 that 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 uh, uh, effectional. Uh, which means that 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 powerful that that action, all right, which which is uh, receiving this knowledge, wisdom, understanding by coming in through the door, all right. Let's get one more precept. Um, the book of Saint Matthew's, chapter seven, and verse fifteen. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. All right. And, and, and some guys come to us. All right. Or may come to you uh, proclaiming the names. You have a white, you have a shot. All right. But the scripture says here in Matthew 7 and 15, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. All right. Proclaiming the names. You have a white, you have a shot. But inwardly. They are raving wolves, all right? Inwardly, they just, they just doing this thing for filthy lucre's sake, man. They're doing this thing for vain glory, man, all right? To be seen among men, all right? They're not doing this thing to, to bring in the hopeful elect, all right? But the men that have entered in through the door are the true shepherds, all right, of the sheep, all right? And we pray that Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, keep that spirit upon us to be true shepherds of the sheep and to the chief, chief shepherd make his grand appearance, all right? And we can be all delivered, all right? But with that, you know, just a quick recap of the lesson, the only way to salvation, the only way to the house of David is entering in through the door, all right? Which is our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. Shalom.